The manhunt for the suspect who escaped from the sheriff's department yesterday continues. Wesh 2 has just learned that Jean Barreau was not handcuffed at the time of his escape. There's now an investigation to find out if deputies followed proper procedure. Wesh 2's Bob Keeling joining us live from sheriff's headquarters. And Bob, you also spoke with people who say the department kept them in the dark about the escape. Yeah, that's right, Brett. Now, first off, officials say that they do have some leads, but bottom line, this man with a violent felony history is still out there. But there are people who live uh, very close to where this escape happened and people who work at this daycare center right here who said they should have been notified about this immediately. And the chef department didn't let us know anything. This employee of the Little Miracles Academy Daycare Center asked us not to show her face. Had they known a violent felon had escaped out the back door of the sheriff's department near their business, she says they would have gone into lockdown to protect the children. Because we have our kids on the playground, we never knew anything about what was going on. Because even though we have gates, but anything could have happened. Directly on the other side of the sheriff's department's parking lot, residents whose yards back up to headquarters say they too were not made aware of an escapee possibly still in the area. It scares me to think about somebody escaping and they're not letting us know about it. A longtime resident, Mary Longstreet, says she's never heard of someone escaping from sheriff's headquarters. Residents in this neighborhood off West Amelia Street have another security concern. This hole in the fence behind headquarters that allows strangers an easy cut through from behind the sheriff's office and into their neighborhood. They need to close up the hole or knock the trees down or something so we can see what's going on over there. Back live, you're looking at the location of that hole over on one side of the sheriff's parking lot. All new at 6 o'clock. After we started inquiring, uh, we were able to get some action on that hole. We'll tell you what's going to happen. Also, a sheriff's spokeswoman does tell us late this afternoon that they felt the best way to get the information out about this escapee the quickest was to go to the media. Reporting live at Sheriff's Headquarters, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.